current mood. I swear. <laughs> I can't get any YouTube videos done to save my life. It's either LA interrupting me every five freaking seconds, and then instead of cutting my grass, which I live in the middle of nowhere, like out in the sticks, so I have a very large property. It takes me the better part of two hours to cut my lawn. Instead of cutting the grass while Ella slept today, I thought I'm going to use this opportunity to film some hauls. I made up this like cute little setup because I couldn't film in my bedroom. The baby was sleeping in here. So I set up this cute little thing, table, with like all these fall decorations and I'm all stoked about it. And then my fucking neighbor starts cutting his grass and I don't know what it is about the middle of now like I don't know country people are just very oh I think the city runs deep in me like when your lawnmower starts to sound like a fucking diesel truck it's time to splurge and buy a fucking new one like they're not even expensive you know what's even cheaper than buying a new lawnmower is just changing the fucking oil so it doesn't sound like a transport truck running up and down your lawn, up and down your lawn. So halfway through filming a haul, my neighbor starts cutting his grass with his lawnmower, which is like fucking warp 10, super loud. If I'm quiet, you could probably hear it. Like I'm at the way back of my house and he's out front. So I go to my car because I forgot to take my meds at lunch today. I take Lyrica for my frickin' frackin' back. I realized I forgot to take my meds. And the lawnmower is going, like, I should time it one day. His fucking lot is postage size stamp. I'm almost positive if I pulled out the deed to my house. I probably own half of his land, too. But anyways, it, his yard is this big. And I love him to pieces. Don't get me wrong. He is probably one of my favorite parts of this house, of living out here. He's my favorite neighbor. He's like a grandfather to Ella. I love him to pieces. But for some reason, when I went out there to get shit out of my car, the lawnmower's sitting there running so fucking loud, and he's nowhere to be seen. That's why it takes him so long. He's 74 years old. I'm just going to start cutting the grass myself. I'm going to tell him, fuck off, Manuel. Takes me two hours to do my own yard. Zipping around your fucking postage size stamp grass will take me four minutes. With my brand new lawnmower, that's silent compared to his. This is where I'm at, man. This is my fucking life. I'm so frustrated right now. I can't do anything unless I schedule it. Unless the kids are in daycare. I'm manic right now. Seriously. So little things like this bother me. Really fucking bother me. Ah! There's still flies in the house. It's fucking Who wants to take bets on how long this will last before it's interrupted? Anybody? Anybody. Come on. I hear the door opening and we're only eight seconds in. Hello. Hi, Ella! <laughs> I told you! Mommy can't film hauls unless you're at daycare. Mom. She literally, eight seconds, like, does not let me out of her sight. Hey, Mom. Hi. You want to smell some wax? Okay, yeah. let's do that. But we have to start with these ones. So today we're going to share an Ava's haul with you guys. It wasn't even my intention to place an order, but I seen that she had poured one of my favorites, and I couldn't help myself. So let's start with the samples. I have misplaced one of them. I apologize. Lindsay is always super generous with her samples. I'm sure I'll find it, but there was three of them. Yeah, in this teeny tiny order. So usually what I do with Ava's samples is I gift them to my friends in random acts of kindness. There's Elabella. Let's smell them. The first one is Christmas cookies. You want to smell it? It smells so good, like cookies. Mmm. Does it smell really good? Mmm. Mm. Not sure that I would melt that one on its hey, own, but it would make a phenomenal blender. Oh, your guy wants to smell it? Mmm. Mmm. I love Ava's wax. I love... Oh, the bear wants to smell too. 
usually I'll admit I haven't explored mm. many of the freshy or floral scents from Ava's, but her bakery is to die for. Emma. Yeah, okay, we go sit this way. The next sample is blueberry lemon cake. Ooh, let's smell this one. Her wax performs amazing. I'd also be curious to know which percentage of it is soy. Based on the messy bags, I'm guessing Lindsay uses quite a bit of soy. And if you've watched my channel for a while, you guys know that I love it when these vendors use soy because it's a renewable resource. It's not paraffin. Fracking paraffin from our planet is awful for the environment. Ooh, that's so nice. You get equal parts lemon to the blueberry. And I like this. Normally I don't like blueberry very much in home fragrance, but I would definitely order blueberry lemon cake in large quantities. Solo parenting, man. <laughs> you need like the utmost patience. <laughs> This is pumpkin crunch cake pops. Yeah. Yeah. I ordered, yeah. 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 I ordered this back in like mid August. Ooh. That smells like um, pumpkin souffle fragrance oil just mixed with um, the. Cake pops, or what is it? Ice cream scoop bread, fragrance oil. It's really good, yeah. really good. I usually let my Ava's cure for two or three weeks before I melt it. It doesn't really need a lot of cure time, and this has a pour date on it of August sixteenth. So I love this because I don't even have to label it. It's it's such an easy vendor. Next one is caramel apple campfire marshmallow. It's a, yeah, it's not a tree, it's a leaf. Can you say leaf? Leaf. Leaf. She has all of these very cool seasonal shapes, leaf much like these out. little pumpkins. Yep, leaf out. Leaf. Caramel, apple, leaf. campfire, leaf. marshmallow. Does it smell good? Leaf. Bear likes it too? Leaf. It's up. Um, I think it's a dog. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Does the dog want to smell it? Oh, it smells good. Mmm, I really mm. like that. Um, mostly caramel apple, a little bit of marshmallow, and it's not fireside. It's like toasted marshmallow with a hint, just a hint of a smoky note. Not overly woody or smoky at all. Love that. Uh, Next that? one is a uh, double colored leaf. It's white on the bottom and orange. Yeah. It's pumpkin Tree? crunch cake pops with cream it's cheese that? frosting. Tree? So similar. It's a leaf. It's not a tree. Say leaf. Tree. Leaf. Leaf tree grows on the tree. My. Oh my. So good. <laughs> oh yeah. And Bear wants to smell it too. <laughs> She's so cute. <laughs> it's a good thing our kids are cute. It smells good, right? Yeah. Mmm. Love me some Ava's Country Cupboard. Yeah. Um, the next one is pumpkin wafers. Again, the two me. little pumpkin ones. Yes, honey, of course you're going to smell it. But do you think it was going to leave you out? My. How could I possibly leave you out when you're right in the middle of the action? My. Hmm. Pumpkin wafers is nice. It's not anything super special. I would likely cut this up and use it as a blending scent. It's just a nice, like, pumpkin puree scent with vanilla wafers. It, it To me, that smells like it's it needs something. It Hi. needs something else. So I'd definitely Ooh. blend that with something. Ooh. Hey, let's check out these big bags. Can we put that pumpkin back in here? Yeah. Okay, what's in that big bag? It says buttercream maple yeah. zucchini. So, long story short, the whole reason I ordered this was because she had poured ultimate zucchini, which is zucchini bread and ultimate sugar cookie. This is probably my favorite Ava scent that I've ever tried. It's 
my favorite zucchini bread blend I've ever tried. It's to die for. So I wanted to order five or six of these bags, just an ultimate zucchini to last me all winter. Oh, so good. It's deadly on its own. She pours it a lot in samples. I believe my friend Amber, Amber's the one that got me hooked on Ava's, but I believe Amber had sent me a bunch of ultimate zucchini blends this time last year. Yeah. Oh. Or in January. Yeah, and I've been dying for it ever since. Love this one. So I tried to put four or five in my cart. There was only one left. Of course, because Sarah always comes late to the game. So instead, I just grabbed the last ultimate zucchini. And then we grabbed buttercream maple zucchini. It doesn't have the sugar cookie in it. Bummer. But hopefully it's good. Smell it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're going to take it out? Oh, is that a winner, winner chicken dinner? Buttercream no. maple zucchini. Fly. Ooh, it doesn't smell like french fries. What are you talking about? Fly. It does not smell like french fries. You crazy. It smells like buttercream. Not too heavy on the maple. Buttercream zucchini. Smells delicious. Huh. Anyways, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Huh. Thanks for watching our Ava's haul. We love Ava's Country Cupboard. Lindsay is bomb at bakery blends. And we will see you in our next video. Say bye. Bye. I found the missing stuff from my Ava's haul. So the sample that I was missing was carrot zucchini cupcake. To me anyways, that sounds nasty. I am so happy that these vendors send samples because I would have passed this up 100 times over. Carrot anything, just aside from eating it in like a salad or whatever, I'm, I'm good with carrot the food, but carrot is in home fragrance. I've always kind of been like, ooh, ooh, does anybody actually buy that? Uh, yeah, they do because it smells dang delicious. I definitely get zucchini in here. It's a I wouldn't identify it as cupcake. It's sugary. It's like a sweet zucchini and there's definitely I don't know. Does that smell like carrot? Yeah, I guess so. It's it's not it's not gross. It's not gross. Go figure. I thought this was gonna be nasty. I even have a carrot cake scentsy bar that I've been hanging on to for throwback Thursday but I never put it in as one of the selections because I'm like ew I don't want to actually have to warm it this smells awesome on cold if nobody orders these like if she has this on the scent or sorry on her website what will happen is oh what was it hot bananas hot banana pepper or something that wax melt was on her website in the 20% off clearance section all dang summer. I don't know if it ever sold. But if I find any carrot on sale on the Ava's scent list or in her clearance section, now I won't hesitate to scoop that up because carrot's not half bad. And then I totally forgot I ordered a four pack of smiley tarts. These are five dollars on the website. I have never ordered the four pack smiley faces before. It was hard for me to envision. I thought they would be a lot smaller than this, but that's a fair amount of wax for $5. And the scent is Wild Berry Cream Cheese Frosting. I'm very happy it's Wild Berry Mousse and not Wild Berry Smoothie because I don't like Wild Berry Smoothie fragrance oil. Hmm. Shouldn't say that I don't like it. It's just not my favorite. I definitely prefer Wild Berry Mousse. Oh my word. This smells amazing. I would warm this on its own or cut them up as a blending scent and there's no way that you need a full smiley face with Ava's wax for me anyways just personally I wouldn't use that whole thing I would cut that in two because a little bit of Ava's goes a long way I swear in my house anyways super happy I found these Miss Ella took off with them and hid them on my baker's rack in the kitchen little turkey